delete uh, that side and uh, we can use a mirror modifier for that side for this side and uh, just so it is applied to the array uh, because you see now it has to be above all the array something like that and uh, since this side is the same as the top side we can also delete uh, this bottom side and use the array modifier for that as well so let me first deselect these delete faces and I use the array for that side as well I can switch off the array for now use the mirror for that side as well so we only have to worry about uh, this side so if we turn on subsurf, uh, we have this, uh, but the problem is the problem we have is that uh, this side is not connecting uh, very well. So we need to come in and uh, see what's going on here. So uh, these vertices here need to be pushed down like that so that they are on the same level as these vertex. So. I think around there uh, we need to turn on clipping so that uh, the vertices are not intersecting with the mirror on the other side so do that now let's turn on everything and see this is what we have but uh, we still have this problem where we have a gap uh, between these two we have a gap here uh, that we need to eliminate so let's see what's going on here uh, let's uh, first turn off this and see how we can remove uh, this gap so um, let's see let's see let's see I think one way would be you see how this is connected <coughs> this here is supposed to connect to that uh, let's see let me see what can we do here oh I see I see I see so we can connect them maybe hmm interesting I'm not sure maybe bring this bikes like this and then use this to connect in the center and still have a few issues uh, this needs to be on the same level like that uh, maybe we don't can we remove this loop we have a lot of connections that are unnecessary here so we can select this edge and connect it with that merge it with that and uh, let's see now Uh, we don't need this to be pushed in so it has to be on the same level as all the other vertices so bring that up or oh, what we can do let me see uh, since we have clipped, clipping turned on we can select this edge and move it uh, to clip out uh, with that side and now we can remove that extra vertex so if we turn off these and the mirror modifier we can just delete this face so that we have something like this maybe we can match that to that and match this to that as well and now uh, we can delete this vertex Uh, there is some pinching, pinching going around there, so let's see how to fix that. I think it's we have to do the same thing at the bottom here, what we are doing up here. 
So let's first turn off this. Uh, we can delete this vertex. Connect this and this to here. This as well. And uh, maybe we can delete that vertex. Uh, this can be connected to this. Um, let's see. And uh, need to come to this here. Can remove. If we get this pattern right, uh, then everything else is going to be really simple uh, to do. So that's why you have to spend a lot of time. Uh, some good time around here on this part here so that you can get everything correct and uh, let's turn this back on and see still have a weird pattern going on here and uh, let's see let's see it's being caused hmm. we'll figure out why why that is like that. Let me first come here. I think this needs to be merged with this. And let's see. Let's see. have a perfect this this is the kind of uh, intersection we are going for but uh, so I think we need to go for a pattern that looks like this so what let me try this and see if I make a duplicate of this because you see the pattern we get we have right now is that, uh, in some areas are uh, this kind of uh, fades off and it's not as sharp as this intersection here so let's try something different and see So I'll first switch off the subsurface for this. Uh, move this aside to the side like this. Maybe I can first turn off uh, this array. So this intersection here is perfect, and uh, we want it repeated on any uh, on all the corners here uh, that are causing uh, issues. So this. This is the intersection we want. So can we put it here, here, at every corner? So let's uh, disable everything here. And uh, apply uh, the, mirror mo the mirror modifier. So we need this pattern uh, because it's the pattern that is working for everything. And uh, so we need it here, we need it here, and we need it here. So let's see what can we do to make it happen. If I selected this here, Shift D, and uh, brought it here, can it work? Like this. I think it should work. So. If we deleted that vertex, then might that with that. Something like that. Then bridged this with that. Did the same for this side like that we need the same thing here so I can I think I can add a cut here and there let me just use the knife tool and uh, we can select 
can select this side here. We can select, um, let me see, let me see. So we have this here. We also need this exact thing here. If us join these. so we have successfully added this pattern on two sides now, now we need to figure out a way to add it on this end here so if we selected uh, this again shift D duplicated it and there is some intersection going on this side so let's just use this side uh, which is the same because we are using the mirror modifier. Need this to be connected. So um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Make sure these are merged to the center, and uh, we can delete that vertex and see. Also, I think we need that a line there so we can merge this with this should we oh I see I see I see I see what we need is so join this with this end and then bridge this with this and connect this with that so we have something like that and I think just delete this connect the two so we have something like that well we need a square that has all the three all the three, all, all the four corners are having this pattern here. So let's see, let's see what part do we need. I think for the, also need a part, this same thing for the top here or bottom. So let's select again, shift D, duplicate it, put it at the top. Uh, make sure it's at uh, the center there. Now we can select that vertex, delete it, and now we can select this edge, connect it with this here, select this, connect it with this, and uh, we can select this, merge it with that, select this, merge it with that. So we only are remaining with one side here yeah, so let's do that shift D it's a bit tedious but I think it should work and uh, it's the most difficult part so the most difficult part about this is just making that pattern right and uh, so that's why it's taking a lot of time but uh, I think it should be worth it so just need to join this with that last last and then select this connect it with that and select this connect it with that so i think we are we are there we we have got to that part where we have all the four sides uh having the same pattern so we can select these extra parts extra sides Delayed faces. Select what says. Select so we just need one square uh, that has that pattern and now we can